physiologically, you know, brilliant, very, very talented. He rides in an old school way, uh, in an intuitive way, in an unpredictable way, uh, but in a way that is a joy to behold and he's very, very important for our sport. So my favourite current rider is Peter Sagan. My favourite climb has to be the Colle del Finestra that was featured in this year's Giro d'Italia when Chris Froome spectacularly attacked. Now I rode up it a couple of years before when it featured in the Giro when Alberto Contador ended up winning was put under a lot of pressure by Mikel Lander. And um, I just think it's, again, it's so spectacular. But the thing that makes it for me is, is the brutality of the early slopes, the fact they're kind of canopied and covered, they're very green, verdant, and then you move out, then, then obviously the road surface changes from tarmac to gravel for the next 7K, um, up into this expansive, uh, it's these kind of vistas, it, it, it's just the most epic climb I think I've ever ridden up. Didn't, I've never raced up it, but just riding up it, and it was the Chima Coppi of course in the, in the Giro d'Italia, the highest point, and the views from the top are absolutely spectacular, and Finestra means it, window in Italian so essentially it's the window to the world or to the Apennine Alps of which it over kind of overlooks and looms over. Um, undoubtedly firstly my dad because he was the guy that got me into it love him to bits but my heroes were Greg LeMond who um, of course won the tour in 86 and inspired me to want to try and become a professional um, and also Robert Miller as well um, big big hero of mine I had posters on, the, on my walls of Le Monde and Miller. And it was weird, in 1989, when I rode my first Pro-Am race, the Nissan Classic in Ireland, I actually raced against those guys that were my heroes when I was a youngster. So that was pretty amazing. I had to, yeah, Sean Kelly I'd put in the mix as well. They're my big three heroes and inspirations when I was young. My dad is from Cornwall, and I spent a lot of time, especially on holidays, riding down in Cornwall. And I think, you know, I've been fortunate enough to race all over the world. When I look back, I think one of my favourite places still to ride is just the, the Cornish coastal roads because there's something magical and special about them. So, yeah, that's where I started out training, I think, and, um, and that's where maybe I'd like to end my days down there.